What is up guys and welcome back to the Superhero Buzz, where we cover the latest news and everything comic book movie related. I am your host Noah, and in this video I'm going to be breaking down a leaked announcement for Spider-Man 3. And according to this report, this villain may live on past Spider-Man 3, and it may not be who you expected. But first, if you could, rub that subscribe button so you can get the latest buzz and everything comic book movie related. Should you do just that, we'll qualify you for a special giveaway I'll be doing. So stay tuned till the end of the video for the rest of those details. Anyways, there's quite a bit to unpack, so need to say more? Let's dive right in. The cast of Spider-Man 3 just keeps on growing, and with that so do the villains, and so far we have two of them confirmed for the sequel, but we still don't know much about their roles, but today that appears to change. According to insider Daniel RPK, Alfred Molina is maybe returning for more than just one movie. In fact, he may have just signed a multi-picture deal with Marvel, so we could be expecting his character to live on past Spider-Man 3. Now this could mean quite a few things, with the first being that he will be joining the Sinister Six, which according to Daniel is expected to happen. So should that be the case, all three Spider-Men will have to come together to face this threat. But this could also mean that he'll be returning for Spider-Man 4, which there have been rumors that they're going to film these movies back to back. And considering all of the characters returning, it would make perfect sense, and it would also explain why they would make this storyline into a two-part movie. However, this could be hinting at something bigger, which brings me to my next point. According to insider Roger Norvell, Spider-Man 3 will adapt the One More Day storyline, but it will mainly focus on the Raimi universe, and the later events that take place in that particular universe. According to a recent plot leak, William Dafoe was set to be the Norman Osborn of the MCU, and considering that they're from the same Raimi universe, he could be following in those footsteps, thereby making him the Doc Ock of the MCU. But how does this make any sense? According to Kevin Feige, Spider-Man 3 will be the second piece of a three-part story, connecting to both WandaVision and Doctor Strange 2. And apparently the events in WandaVision will somehow explain how all these different characters make their way into the MCU. So in other words, the multiverse will help introduce the Spider-Verse. And based off these new reports, the future is looking bright for this character. But having said that, what are your thoughts on these reveals? And are you excited for Spider-Man 3? Sound off with your thoughts down below. Now let's get into the giveaway details. I'll be giving away the first exclusive Superhero Buzz t-shirt that is now available in all sizes. And all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you next time.